Hey guys, so, ooh, why am I so close? There we go. So I'm sorry about the mess in the background, don't mind it. I just got home, I just kind of threw my stuff on my bed and just kind of sat down, turned on my lights and wanted to do this video. But the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I never really did a first impressions video for you um, and I kind of really wanted to do it. Um, trying, I'm, try, I'm gonna try not to edit anything, any, like, anything out. Um, okay, so, first thing, right now, um, I'm actually wearing my HD foundation. I haven't used this since November. I, have, I haven't used this in a while, actually, because I have been stuck on my MAC Pro Longwear, and you can see that I'm already halfway done with the bottle. Um, but... For some reason, I feel this is a little bit too orange for me, and I always liked the HD foundation and the color. I just didn't like it how I was applying it. I was actually applying it with my stipple brush, but then um, now I apply my foundation with my hands because it just gets it warm and stuff like that, and it's a really nice, smooth application. So I really like it applied with my hands. So this is what I have on right now. So I don't have any concealer on, so you can see all my imperfections and stuff. And then, um, I don't remember what blush I have on, so, but I'll put that all in the down bar, or in the sub bar. So a local supply store in my area is going out of business, which saddens me because they've actually been in business for 25 years. With that said, it was kind of a sudden closing because they were actually planning to move, but then, um, due to recent unfortunate unfortunate medical issues and problems with the husband all they had to do was close hopefully someone takes over their business but as of right now it doesn't really look like anyone has made an offer yet so i picked up some stuff because everything was 50 percent off especially use and their professional line which they usually only sell to professionals with license but everything was open for the public everything you know i can buy professional items but i didn't um just because I can get them online for a lot cheaper than the 50% off. So I want to get some stuff and stuff for it's in this brown bag right here. Um, now, I haven't seen these items since I left the store. So this is like a first impressions video. I haven't even opened the bag yet. Okay, so, and that was like a couple hours ago. It is 6.28 right now. And I was there at 10 in the morning, so... First thing I picked up was O'Reilly Bonder, and it's a rubberized base coat for lasting adhesion, adhesin, or whatever. And the ladies on the nail board really like this, so I went ahead and picked it up. Now the regular price, they were selling it for $9, but um, again, it was 50% off, so you can do the math. I'm not really good at math, honestly, so yeah. So I got O'Reilly Bonder, and then I picked up an Essie polish in what is this island hopping I didn't even know that was the name which is so cool because if you're not from Hawaii or whatever you might not know what island hopping is basically island hopping is when you there's okay there's eight islands that belong to the US um, let's see if I can name it Oahu Hawaii Maui Lanai I don't know the other four, but there's eight. <laughs> um, and it's just a really nice plum color, and it's called Island Hopping. Now, what that means is that it was in the $2 bin, so I only got this for $2, which regular price, they sell SE for, I think, 7 I think they were selling it for seven thirty something so half of that would have been $3 and something cents, I think, but I only got it for $2. I'm not sure, I don't think the $2 bin was half off. But it would have been really cool if I got this for a dollar, but I don't think I did. Um, next thing I got that was also from the $2 bin, which is China Glaze in 2030. So it looks like this. I don't know why that sticker's on there. But as you can see, it has a cross out, and it's just a really pretty gold. I didn't have a gold like this, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um... Next is Ingrid, which is a really gorgeous, like, brown color with gold sparkles. I'm not sure if you can see the gold sparkles, but this is gorgeous for the fall time. Gorgeous. 
next, I'm just picking out a bag, is Ahoy, which is from the recent collection. Oh, I didn't know they did that now. Apparently, they do the um, peel here thing now, China Glaze. They never used to do that before, but apparently they do the peel here now. So, which is really cool because I love the peel here. So, Ahoy. And just this really fuchsia with a dual chrome of or glass fleck of like pinky yellow glass flecks. It's gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see that. Next thing I got, let me just take these all out of the bag so I don't so you guys don't hear the crunching sound. Sorry. Okay. No more crunching now. Okay, the first one I picked, the first China Glaze I actually picked up when I first got there was Treasure Treasure Chest, which is a really pretty just gold glitter like this. And you can see, really pretty chunky gold glitter. I love layering and I've been loving glitters lately. So, and then I picked up Helium, which is from the High Hopes collection. And as you know, I do have High Hopes. Wait. Up and Up Collection, sorry, not High Hopes Collection. The Up and Up Collection. And I do have High Hopes, which is my favorite coral kind of pot pink color. But this is really gorgeous color. I've been really into pinks, so I picked that one up. And then I got Sugar High. I'm not sure if this was also from the Up and Up Collection, but if you know, then just put it down below, which is a really pretty hot pink. So, as you can see... My, my boyfriend was like, why are you picking up all Nicki Minaj kind of colors? So, I don't know. Next thing I got was White Cap, which is also from the, I think it was the Hoi, a Hoi collection or something. It was new. One of those, but. Yeah, I got White Cap. Really pretty to layer on your polishes. And again, they have the peel here, which. I don't know, I just love these peel here thingies. I don't know. I don't, sorry if I'm not looking at directly at the camera. I'm actually looking on my thing so it, you can't see if it's focused or not. Okay, and then I got one O'Reilly, which is in 54. Oops. And that, I did not peel here, but it just peeled off by itself. And it's just this really kind of um, frosty... Not frosty, like glittery pink. Really pretty. And then I got another Seche V because, again, it was $9.89 and it was half off. So, like $4. So I went ahead and picked one up anyways, you know. That way I don't have to order online and pay for shipping. Um, yeah, I still have one, but then this is like my kind of backup. And I got a whole bunch of new bars because I've been on a new bar kick lately. First one I got was Whimsical Coral. Really pretty. And I think they were selling these for $8.49. Um, so half of that, obviously. Oh, the O'Reilly was just $4. And then I got a new bar, another new bar in Conserve. Which is a really pretty teal kind of color and then cherry cordial cordial something like that if you can pronounce that let me know Cor I've been really into dual chromes lately like you don't even know most of these are either dual chromes or glass flecks and then it got Ver Verde 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 if you're Spanish you probably know how to pronounce this but um, I only took two classes of Spanish and I did not get the, you know, the pronunciations. And it's a really, again, dual chrome. Glass fleck. Gorgeous color. So that's all that I got. Um, besides that, I got the Paris Hilton Eau de, Eau de Perfume Spray. And it's just the Paris Hilton one. I got it from Ross. I go in there once in a while. The regular price was $29 and I got it just for 
love this it smells so good like i have been wanting this for a while i went ahead and get this got the small one because i know i'm not going to use all the big ones so i get the small ones the one ounces this one ounce yeah the one ounces so good so, so good so it kind of reminds me of my ralph it actually smells the same i don't know but two favorites two favorites my cousin actually got me into this one i was using a lot of her spray um so that is all i got and i will have swatches in my blog because i'm not gonna have anything else to do so i will talk to you guys later